It can feel like we live on these islands of isolation, but the world is a connected place. There are hidden bridges everywhere. So Tom's actually so, um, making a film about kind of winter and he's yeah. going to be going to Russia and interviewing oh, Russia. Uh, the uh, Good luck. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that would be awesome. The guy, the guy tell me, I have a dream. I have a real dream. I would like to see how the sun go in the sky from right to left. It takes three years for me to understand. You can also see your bait. So when you're jigging, you'll see it moving up and down. And then if fish starts coming up from the bottom, you'll actually see it come towards your bait. See, it's almost like a game. You're looking at your screen. You're not looking at your or your fishing pole. So you're looking at your screen trying to catch the fish. Yeah. Yeah, it's all on a screen the whole time. You're fishing. Wow, so it's like a hybrid of reality and video yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah the same thing. I'm, I'm actually like pretty hooked on that wind app. I check it many times a day. Oh, yeah. You know, I'd been watching the wind for, for this lake all week. This is when the thing will go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I've had weird dreams where I'm out there fishing. There's like giant snakes and giant fish and a whale in there, you know? I don't want to, to kill the whales. And they just wake up. Are you drunk? I'm asking you, do you need a bag? And I answer again. I don't want to kill the whale. I say, look, I took this bag and then I drop it to the garbage and it flew away to the home river. And I'll be able to deliver it to the Arctic Ocean. And, and nowadays we know that in the ocean there are the artificial islands appear because of the plastic. And then the krill use it. And this and the whales eat that and they get poisoning. So you saw me the bag, we together kill the whale. I will never give you back again. That's what's going on in love with Nazi. Morning. How you doing? But we can use intelligence and instruments to see things that no other organism can see. We have automatic cameras that collect a lot of data. And guess what is the most common animal on the camera trap? Human. No. <laughs> no. This long line is a fish right here. That's Another here. option to look at more information. And I thought, well, it'd be cool, you know, to go there and capture kind of experiences and some of the science behind that, and then relate it to just how people relate to winter here. Beer, and yeah. No, they're out on the lake drinking beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're not <laughs> fishing. Lot of river, Seven, eight, yeah, nine, there's, ten. there's a lot of men at the river <laughs> today you. fishing steelies. We buy this stuff in like September, but when it's still 70, 80 degrees out, we don't know what's going to happen, you know? You read the farmer's own rack and, and maybe guess, but... You know, what changes people have seen or whatever, yeah. yeah. True. Yeah. And Here very... people can't set up a shanty, but... <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> you, you did. Yeah. yeah, it made it work. A little bit of help. <laughs> <laughs> this would have been. You can't fix soup. <laughs> I think that's a worldwide phenomenon. So that's another point in common here across yeah. cultures. <laughs> you say, are you stupid? Sea eagles never nested on the ground. We, we drive 20 kilometers by boat, we spend all our patrol, we, we walk in bloody 25 kilometers one way completely. We arrived and it was a nest of rough like buzzard. <laughs> And then I would weave this all together into a film with some visual parallels and narrative parallels just to kind of, you know, demonstrate that we're all humans uh, kind of considering similar themes in life um, and we all have points of interest that we could share with each other because uh, I think that the world needs more connectivity. I really think we need to create kind of plan B today contaminated by the vi virus so if the doctor uh, thinks that too then i will actually not go at home because otherwise i will be in quarantine too so i'd rather stay in another place and buy the food and so on for them <laughs> the situation is really terrible it's not yes it's not no it's... Oh, no, no. Uh, hard, right? no one knows what happening tomorrow and what we will do with all this vodka we already buy for the meeting <laughs> <laughs> hold on well, to it so, Russia version 2. So we have 11 hours of time zone variation to deal with. Hi there! You working okay? We thought that no one familiar. would watch these things. 
Hello, sorry for being a bit late. Is everyone online now? Is Konstantin still there? This has to be one research program that is not full of many research programs. I do not see Konstantin. It looks like he stepped away from his computer. So everybody will have to make big sacrifices. Probably easier to put a little schematic. If you draw them, then take a picture and share it. We don't need to become digital. Is it, is it uncomfortable with this? I can, we can move to the second. Can you draw an arrow from PFT to reindeer? Yeah. So you come up with the most interesting science story that crosses disciplines and basically uh, connects five of these nodes. And we can do that twice. Perhaps maybe the human component some here, or I guess, you know, the water supply. So, uh, the tasks of today. Okay, so we we'll go through the same process that we did um, yesterday and try to find some links between the, uh, the presentations that we looked at for uh, theme three. So, um, does anybody want to start and Pick some obvious links. Take notes, uh, and then we reconvene in one hour from now. Well, actually, I'm not studying robins currently. You want to see if you can catch something? Yeah, I would like you to. <laughs> see, like that's got um, that glows in the dark. That little white collects a little light to it. And then we got a bar red trouble hook. That looks really sharp. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'll go first. Then we looked at the, the first one was Mary Peskel's um, presentation. Uh, I'm looking at the uh, the growth of vegetation. One aspect was that the vegetation is getting taller. Um, this paper kind of attributed that to an increase in uh, woody shrub cover in tundra locations. It increases the the temperature, so it, it has uh, similar sort of impacts on the permafrost in both summer and winter. I mean, I, I define myself as a tundra ecologist, like looking at it from different sides. You can have a bottom up and top down. Here we do a combination of deciding what is the most important thing to understand the big picture. And uh, so it's like, like a, a hybrid, hybrid of reality and video games. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's another yeah. option to so look at more information. Yeah. yeah. He can see the whole bottom. He can see anything. So if he sees right here is my bait that I'm moving up. Oh. Here's a fish coming up. And that's that's the beauty of science is being able to see deeply into the world. It's baited camera traps with reindeer sweltering remains. Polar bears? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. You need to look at everything from the herbivores to the predators all together. It looks like the shrubs in general are warming factor for the soil, even if you take into account the shading effect in summer. By this, herbivores directly interfere into the link between the vegetation and the climate, or at least can interfere. And it turns out that people actually have a very short memory. Climate changes at such a speed that without using statistics and so on, you actually don't really notice it. Mm. Young young people in Russia today don't remember the period before Putin, so... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the next generation won't either. <laughs> my grandfather quit fishing before I was born, but uh, my father did a little bit of fishing when I was really young, and as we got older, he gave that up. If you want to ride a bike, you have to figure out where it broke. Because you can't buy a, buy a new bike. It's just not in the store, right? So when it releases past it, it flies up, lets your flag go, lets you know that you got a fish on there. Very clever. So yeah, yep. But this is uh, really old. I love it though, it's so simple. I mean, I love the homemade versions. And then when you realize, oh, okay, it's this little damn screw that, that's not working anymore. Then you have to figure out how to actually manufacture that screw in-house repair. Well, and the new ones? Like this, I uh, usually see if it's, if the bobber's there, if the bobber's pulled way down and we can't see it. So it was kind of like by chance, I wouldn't say, like before then I had really given much thought to like Arctic work. And then, um, like many people, like once you go, you're like, oh, this is fantastic. Like, <laughs> it's kind of. So I'm digging to get to the battery box. The problem is I don't know where exactly it is. 
подъему шла мошка, но остались комары. I think actually anecdotal evidence is when when you're malnutrited and tired, you, your dreams get brighter and longer and more profound. And I think that's why I dream a lot in the field. Please correct me if I'm wrong. What I'm doing is what people are telling me to do. All right, well, before anybody gives me anything else, <laughs> if, you all, if you all can let me work on this a little bit. Yeah, but with the, the also thinking about the bird element. We also have cameras on the dens. <laughs> no. No. Uh, actually, uh, ravens? Yes, ravens. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> the call of a raven. <laughs> through very cold air, ripples space-time. Countless millions of birds fly to the Arctic every spring and come back every winter, including Michigan, I'm sure. My friends from Russia tell you we all connected with immigratory birds, and second, please do not kill the whales by buying the plastic bags in the shops. How many decades will this last for, and then it's gonna be gone? And what will be left? I mean, you're really encouraging to a uh, high dimension brainstorm with this project, Valeri. I think oh. it's really useful for all of us. I mean, except even even not considering the application. Well, first of all, thank so you. It's really Secondly, to I'm... talk science with all these people. I, I'm as excited. Yeah, I agree. Dora, you steal my toast. I, I think if there is any byproduct of this project, it's uh, well, it's a new experience for us all, but it's also perhaps ideas. I do believe that the, the, the humans, the people, the, the persons can change a lot. I remember us all standing around in a circle in the Irish pub. It was super loud and we're yelling at each other. And I think I recited one of my poems about tropical forests from my phone. <laughs> you know, that's, I think I'm kind of remember. Yeah. Hey, we got a flag over there. Ah! 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 Just because I enjoy something doesn't mean you will find something that, uh, that you like. <laughs> So we will uh, store all these gigabytes of meeting in the drive and I'm sure it will just burn a few more liters of oil to keep the servers running, but I'm not yeah. sure it, it's really useful, but let's record it. The problem is I don't know where exactly it is. And then it's just like tundra. It's fun. Get me out of the house and not playing video games. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs>